Hello and welcome to episode 23 of our Timberborn Update 5 playthrough with the Iron Teeth Faction here at cycle 36, day 5. Last time, we had, uh, shall we say, a fun time trying to expand some of our stuff here. Uh, got a lot done, but didn't quite get everything accomplished. We have a couple of roadblocks we ran into, but we're going to be working on that today, as well as expanding this area into a little bit of recreation, bot charging in different things like that optimizing other things and continuing as always to expand our production in our industrial area and finally hopefully moving our food production off of the top of the mountain down here and making lots more space to grow crops so we can have some more beavers before we're done with the series but first things first we have a lot of stuff we need to fix that we didn't have done last time like having different food processing enabled so let's go ahead and pause take stock of where we are. We did turn the food factories back on, but our fermenters, if we go to our jobs tab here in uh, Beaverberg 13, scroll down to fermenters, we have all of them paused. So what we want to do is we want to unpause at least one for each recipe. So go ahead and unpause this one for mushrooms, unpause this one for cassavas, unpause this one for soybeans, and that's all we're going to do. Uh, mark those as prioritized by haulers as well. That's all we're going to do for right now, uh, just to try and conserve bot labor because these are all bot automated, bot automated, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we, we got to get those numbers up, and this is a good way to make sure we can still technically make some food while not really draining too much of our resources here. Uh, food factories have not been bot automated yet. Uh, they will be at some point, but we'll we'll just keep those as they are right now. Uh, everything else should be okay. Uh, our hydroponic farms. Let's check these. Yeah, they are all on, and of course, they're not bottomated yet. Lumber mills are all on. Oil presses, uh, we have the one on. That's probably fine. Smelters, uh, we have not prioritized by... Oh, we have prioritized by... But we have not prioritized this as a workplace for bots yet because we did not have enough bots but we're going to want to do that most likely because we have of course over here in our bad water area all these bad water discharges are going to be crucial to survive droughts so this really should be our top priority is building these things and a, a bunch of you guys agreed in the comments so we will be doing just that since we're already over here let's go ahead and build some storages i'm going to put a pile or metal blocks set that to obtain and these also need gears and explosives. So we will do that as well. Just have one of these for gears set to obtain. And uh, explosives, I guess we're probably going to need a medium warehouse. I'm not going to build a giant one. But we will put that here. Explosives set to obtain. Now we do have a good bit of gears. We don't have a ton of metal blocks. And we have a, we have an okay amount of explosives. But uh, each one of these only needs 50, so we're okay to at least get a couple of these going before the next drought hits, which is going to be very, very important. So what we're going to do, prioritize construction of these storages, of course, before we unpause. We already have logs here, which is nice. Unfortunately, these don't need logs, but the construction of all of these storage buildings does. So that's going to make that a more efficient endeavor here. Um, Regarding not having enough wood, we have tons of wood. We just have to have our lumberjacks automated, which we can't really do until we have better charging infrastructure, which also requires metal, which we are not currently producing enough of. And while we do have some scrap metal, we don't have a ton. And one of the things I wanted to do last time was to get this uh, efficient mine going, but uh, we don't currently have the ability to do that. So the next best thing is going to be to have additional scavenger flags. So what we will do is continue. Nope, not like that. I will put in a couple more right like so, since we've cleared this extra space. And then coming down, of course, we'll have stairs down the other way. So they'll be able to access everything. Part of our problem, of course, is that we have 63 open bot jobs and only 63 bots. And part of that is because, as you can see, we have 231 chassis. We have 12 heads and two limbs. Now, before the people come out of the woodwork saying, you got to have more factories for limbs, I don't know if you actually sound like that or not, but um, you don't. They produce 
exactly the same rate as long as you can feed them the raw material. So having additional factories isn't going to help. You have to solve the problem that underlies that, and that is, of course, the materials. So let's take a look here. Chassis, I'm actually going to pause these because, well, we have 231 of them. I don't think that's going to be a problem. But the heads we still need to be making, which require gears, metal blocks, yikes, and planks, which we, you know, we have 600 planks. We're probably fine. But, uh, yeah, that one's already paused. That's good. Heads, this one is paused. Uh, but these last two here, making limbs, need gears and planks. This one is currently paused. I'm going to unpause the limbs and have them start taking care of that, which is going to mean we need to have some additional planks and additional gears. We have all of our gear production. I'm pretty sure all of our gear production is paused. Let's just double check real quick. And yes, they are all, each of them paused. So what we're going to do instead, I'm going to unpause these three, we're going to unautomate them because we don't have a lot of bots. Well, actually, if we're uh, if we're not automating, we need all of them. We could just turn them back into bio beaver jobs. In fact, I'm going to do that with. Uh, I'm going to do that with all of these that have been uh, already automated because I think we would much rather have the bots working as builders and haulers to make sure everything is getting done correctly. And with great haste. Uh, we also probably should unpause this charging station here in the uh, quarantine district, even though, you know, we're probably not going to need it. I am going to remove this and build a better one somewhere else in the future, but that is not on the plan for today's episode. Outside of that, a couple people brought up issues with bot charging. Um, like I was saying earlier, this is going to probably be all chargers, but that's not a foolproof design because when the bad water stops flowing if we're not able to have these bad water discharges operating or enough of them to put water through these. We're going to need a backup plan, which is why some people brought up putting an engine in. And while I do despise the engines, uh, it is going to be a pretty important thing to have a backup source of power. So eventually I am going to put one down here connecting into this, but that's not the highest priority right now. The highest priority for building right now is bad water discharges and we're really really gonna need a lot more metal which is why having these guys automated is going to be of paramount importance so let's go ahead and do that since we're already here and we'll be diverting other bots as necessary to make sure that this is a thing that happens so that should be okay taking a look at my notes here uh, we've turned well, we haven't turned all the food back on, but we've turned enough of it back on. Uh, crucial charging stations that have been paused. Uh, we can't really re-enable all of these as of yet. Well, I guess we could. No reason not to, but we also only have one incapacitated bot. So, eh. We could turn them back on and we could not turn them back on. It's not going to make a difference. Currently... We're making enough power where it doesn't matter, but we also don't need the capacity. So I'm, I'm just inclined to leave those paused so we don't have to worry about pausing them later should we need to. And I believe that is everything that I had discussed uh, with you guys in the comments, at least that I think is relevant for us at this exact moment. So let's unpause, get these things going again, and we'll see if bots are coming in here, which they are not. So let's find out where bots are and if we can replace them with bio beavers. Farms absolutely can be replaced with bio beavers. Easy, easy thing for the bio beavers to do. It's right near where they're living. And this should get us another 10 bots back doing bot things. And it looks like that has been what's happened. We've got some back as builders. And these things, these food processing buildings, the ones that are unpaused at least, can all be bio beavers because we have plenty of those and now we should have pretty much everybody back who needs to be back so that should be hopefully some good progress yeah you see all those bots breaking down at the same time that's uh, unfortunate shall we say but now we are building our storage here and then we're going to prioritize by haulers let's actually go ahead and triple speed this because it is about to be nighttime and we will watch them do their magic, see what we can get accomplished here. Yeah, and they are going to start running out of juice when they get down here. 
So I'm kind of uh I'm kind of inclined just for right now. Just for right now. Put in um if I can find a good place to do it, maybe right here would work fine. Just put in a compact water wheel. Get that uh, going, and then that should turn enough to power at least one of these bot chargers. And I think that's going to be a uh, good thing for us to be able to take care of. I'm going to turn this one this way so that we can uh, put a couple more in the future should we decide we need it. But yeah, this needs to be priority, and then having uh, this charging station also. Because I know we can finish one of these with the amount of resources we have and will have before the end of our temperate cycle should not be a problem. Just got to make sure this is all good to go. So we'll prioritize those by haulers. Uh, get this thing so we can at least charge somebody down here. Should help. As of right now, these guys are building, are going to be delivering the materials because that's what they were already set out to do. But hopefully we get somebody in here pretty soon carrying some more logs for our water wheels, getting these done. And that looks like that's exactly what it is doing for us here. In fact, this should be should be finished right now. And yeah, look at that, 130-ish. Yeah, that'll be enough to have at least one or two of these going. And I do expect it to go down somewhat. But like I said, temporary emergency charging situation. We will let them do what they have to do. And look, this is already almost half full. Gears might take a little bit longer because they're stored further away. But you love to see that. Uh, other things going on here. We were going to have the power shaft intersections put in, but I decided uh, this right now isn't the biggest importance. We have a bunch of other stuff going on, and I'm definitely not going to be <laughs> definitely not going to be putting any more dynamite over here until at least one of these is operating. Yeah, and it's it's going to take them a pretty good pretty good amount of time. But metal blocks should come pretty quickly here. And the number of bots that we have just continues to decline. So we're really, really going to need to make sure that our limbs factories are operating correctly. And that is, uh, that's what's been a pretty big challenge here because our hauling posts are mostly filled with the bots. And I think we should be okay if I turn them on for, for bio beavers instead. I don't think there's any path in which the bio beavers would have to go through the contaminated water. Uh, they shouldn't be hauling it down here. I'm pretty sure it's just the builders that do that. It's five, I've got like 500 hours in this game, and I'm still not sure how that works. Kind of a weird thing, and of course people will argue about it if you try to say one way or the other. But um, let's, just for right now, put the haulers back as bio beavers because it's going to be over twice as many doing it. So even if... The bots are faster and more efficient, which, well, they are. Having more than twice as many, almost three times, working the job will make it get done faster. Of course, you can't do that in the bots-only district, but that's the way she goes. And we don't have enough bots here in Badwater Creek to use these additional scavenger flags unless we deprioritize some of this stuff. So I'm going to deprioritize some of these uh, Badwater pumps because we do have eight. And we have a pretty full stock. So I'm going to deprioritize four of these so we can have a couple more of the. Oh, they're still not going there? Wow. Um, okay. Well, let's go down to two bots in the crossing. Um, five in the hauling post is probably okay. And we, do we still not have. Where are they going? What are they doing? Because we have, we have 26 bots. How do we still have so many open jobs? Because this is the only, the only centrifuge operating. Are they all, okay, that definitely does not to be, need to be a thing. We just need to have the one here. That's fine. All right, now we have some more working as scrap metal harvesters. Because remember, the end goal is that I want to have uh, this mine operating. But that is going to take quite a long time. That's not going to be uh, not going to be something we can easily accomplish right now, at least. So I will go ahead and put that there. Should be able to. Uh, yep, they should be able to get to that just fine. Now let's check over here how this is going. We do have a charger here. It is being used, 
and we are uh, well on our way to getting this bad water discharge up and running. Metal blocks, unfortunately, will continue to be a challenge, but now that the uh, smelters are automated, shouldn't be insurmountable. It's, it's, it's just going to take a long time, especially since the bot production itself has to keep up. It's just so much going on. So much going on. Not to mention, if we have a uh, if we have another regular drought, then this isn't going to be producing any bad water, which means that these aren't going to be turning. So that's something to keep an eye on. Although I will say that having this with the uh, the I don't, I don't even remember what they call these things. Uh, is that under science or what? What is it even under? Water, I guess. Yeah, the bad water discharge. If we if we don't have one of these up here, it's not going to be the end of the world because. This is just for mining. And if we have a decent stock, which we, I mean, we're we okay on it, it's really not that much of a cause for concern. Whereas if this stops, that is definitely going to be something that is going to cause a problem because this is where almost all of our power comes from. And until we have a more robust uh, lumberjack situation, I really don't want to introduce engines into the equation because that's just going to take away all of our building material to use as fuel. And you don't really want that. Fortunately, though, I think this one should be complete in no time because we've got only 11 metal blocks left to go and we're already full up on explosives. So that is something we can chalk up as a win. I'm going to go ahead and put in another bad water discharge right here. And of course, we can put the path coming down this way and then later on this way. I don't think they can reach this unless they put stairs in, which you fair. But just make sure that this is all good to go. Same thing here. Actually, I'm going to be smart and make the stairs a little closer. Just a touch. But I do want to only build two of these, or one of these mostly at a time. So that way we're not ending up with two half completed ones when we could have two completed ones and one that is only at 10%. Because it's it's only it's a binary result. It either works or it doesn't when the drought comes. Want to make sure we're ready. So this guy is uh, very much in need of some uh, <laughs> of some charging. And we do have a little bit of a uh, little bit of metal left. So I'm actually going to go ahead put a second charging station here that they can build and we'll prioritize just as soon as that's finished which it basically is should get a nice charge now and yes we now have we have a decent in, inflow of science so I'm going to build a control tower so we can actually have uh, these guys working here so I think for the benefit of this stuff getting built I can put this in the range of all of these things. But again, it does take does take 20 metal to build this when we have it. But it's just something you really want to keep an eye on. We do have our number cruncher here. I can put another one in. But again, it's one of those things. It takes a lot of materials that we don't necessarily want to use or have even the ability to use right now. We just got to make this stuff work until we can make enough bots. And right now the limb production is catching up. But these things take time to make. They take 36. Oh no, there's no bots to make bots. All right, well, guess what? That's probably what's happening. All right, they're back to uh, regular beaver jobs then. Unfortunately, and I will turn this assembler back on as well as this one. Yeah, especially if uh, if we're only having bio beavers do this, it's really going to take a long time. So we need to have all four turned on. That was one of the things I should have turned on at the beginning of this episode. But I digress. We are fighting a losing battle, it seems, with getting our bots actually put back in. But the good news is this is actually done and we can close this just like that and reopen it and we are good at least a little bit when uh, this next thing comes to town. And I, I do think the bad water discharge 
is probably a little bit more important than putting in another one of these, uh, or I guess any of these control towers. But considering we only have 54, I think I'm going to go ahead and prioritize this. Make them make them build this first, because this will give a boost to all the bots that come back through here. And as we start making more and more metal, we can build a couple more of these. Now, this isn't going to stay here when these are done, don't worry. <laughs> it's just a, a nice little boost to do for right now. But you can't go too wild with these because they do consume, what is it, three science every in-game hour? I'm not really good at math. Yeah, three science every in-game hour. So every single day, you, <laughs> you, you got, oh God, that's so many. You have so much going on. It's 72 per day. So that's for every tower. So if you have like 20 of these, like forget it. You're going to have to have a ton of number crunchers. Which if you have the power to run them and the space to build them, then hey, that works. But it's it's one of those things you, you really don't want to get caught with your pants down. It's going to be a bad day for sure. Fortunately, seems like our gear production and our plank production is keeping up. We just need to make sure that these are being adequately supplied and uh, the hauling posts, since they're run by bio beavers and these are currently being run by bots, aren't able to be fully efficient. I just don't have enough bots to put them in hauling posts. I just don't. It's a very, very delicate balancing act that we're uh, unfortunately not really equipped to do well. Yeah, cause these, these guys are just struggling. And of course, the grease factories have to be paused because we don't have uh, enough canola oil to run that and the food. Well, okay, no, we actually, we've got over 500 canola oil. Another regular drought, yeah, so it's definitely a good thing that we have uh, this guy constructed. And now that we have, ding, it's like a pinball machine, the uh, control tower working. Look how fast these guys are going now. But the problem remains that in three days, I don't think we're going to be able to get another 150 iron iron blocks, metal blocks over here. I just I just don't see how it's possible. Because the, the haulers can't even bring the materials back here fast enough. It's just, we got way too much going on. Way too much going on. And this actually is, uh, it's all ready to go. I just need somebody to finish because I know these guys are really going to want to get a nice charge up. Where they head back, but look at look how fast we're going here. Just somebody put the very finishing touches on this, and we'll be good to go. They're they're speeding down here. All right, somebody do this. Thank you. All right, now we can have charging actually happen. We are we're booking it, man. So two and a half days. Can they finish at least putting the gears and the explosives in? I think they can do it. They just don't have... Oh, this needs to be set to open before we forget. Uh, metal blocks are just not going to happen. Very, very, very slow time. See, now we're down to 45 bots. And it's it's still the limbs. Because we don't have... We don't have a way to get the planks in here fast enough, I think is the problem. But I, I, can't, have, <laughs> I can't have the bots on the hauling post. So uh, what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to spam hauling posts and have bio beavers employed. Something I was attempting to avoid, but I just, I don't think it's possible to get away with that anymore. So now, now I have to divert the builders into building hauling posts so we can have that taken care of. But keep in mind, uh, if we finish this during the drought, then it will start producing bad water again. So there's no reason to stop. But for the sake of having bots come back, I do need to make sure we have more hauling posts. All right, so we have uh, oh, we have the one up here. I guess I could go ahead and build this one as well. We have plenty of logs and planks, at least for right now. And that'll keep these guys employed. Get them working. So might as well just go ahead and build another one here too. When you have problems that need to be solved, everybody helps out. Or guess what? Nobody's left to receive the help. So all sorts of fun here. Metal blocks, gears, planks here are going to be coming in handy 
Uh, no, the mine actually needs the uh, treated planks. Yep, that's right. Well, they can export those. That's fine. I think uh, all things equal, stuff is probably fine. We just have to make sure everything is, you know, smoothly running and well-oiled. Not always something I'm good at, but I do try most of the time. The hard part is that this is just so far away. In an older version of the game, this would absolutely have to be a second district. But since they let us get away with not having uh, district limits anymore, we get to pay the price for our hubris and not, uh, not have things get built as quickly as maybe they should. But it's fine. It's a very slow process. Meanwhile, yet we still cannot, still cannot get planks put anywhere in this district. Are they all hiding in another district? Is that what the problem is? No, only 25. And this district should not have any. No, it still has 25. Why does it still have 25? I feel like we don't need to have any of those in there. Where are the planks chilling? Oh, they're literally right here in front of where I'm trying to get them taken from, and they won't do it. Okay. Um. Huh. Well, maybe this one should be set to supply. I think we can, we can do that. Are these both? Yeah. We'll set those as supplies. So that's just the problem. They don't have the materials to do it. Yeah, this always has to stop. Gears too, but we have we have these gear things are always going. Oh, that's that's the fun that comes with one of these building management games. Even if you're right, guess what? You're still wrong. Something's always going to come up. But good news is, still have 5,700 food. Everything is looking a okay. Got tons of berries for the purpose of making additional beavers, which everybody should be happy about. And our beavers get to enjoy some fun and luxurious relaxation. While they're not hauling a bunch of stuff around. We still, the bot number is still going down. Still going down, even after all this. That's what happens when you don't have, we don't have bots to work in the bot assemblers. We, keep in mind, we only have 28 bots in this district. So it's, uh, it's very, very difficult to maintain a level of a uh, minimum service. In fact, I only have the one here in District 3, which we never renamed because I didn't intend to make it permanent. It's just unfortunate. Now we don't have, are we out of working? We have 17 vacancies here. Oh, that was on purpose. Never mind. Because we only have the 14 bots here. Well, at least we still have scrap metal. That was going to be a very hard thing to reconcile if we weren't able to make that work. But they are certainly, uh, shall we say, not having the best time here. We do have scrap metal down below. It's just the haulers are not uh, not really making it happen here. So maybe, maybe we have to prioritize these guys. I always, for, you know, you'd think I would understand how this works, but... Literally nobody ever gets this right. Hauling prioritization definitely needs a huge, huge overhaul. So to add insult to injury, now this is no longer going to be rotating to turn any, uh, to turn anything. And we're going to get only a th one fourth, 25% of our normal output from here because these are all going to be turned off with the exception of this, which is currently working. So we're going to have ourselves a fun next five days, it seems. This guy's the only one going. And we're, oh yeah, we're not even halfway to the metal blocks. But hey, we have all the explosives and the gears, which that I did say would be nice if that was done. But, oh man, the, the metal situation is just bleak. Hauling is not working for whatever reason. I don't really know, don't really know why. It really shouldn't be an issue. But now power generation is a problem. Even even with us still making over 2,300, we just have way too much turned on. So what I'm going to do now 
Yeah, we're gonna have to turn off half of these things because they take 120 HP a piece. Corn rations. And then the, that algae ration can get turned off. I don't dare turn off the smelters, but uh, all these things that are actually making stuff uh, are really drawing more power than we need to be using. So I'm going to turn off three of these lumber mills. Uh, where does that where does that get us? Oh God, only down to fifty fifty five. Um, number cruncher gets turned off, absolutely, and the engines get turned on. That'll get us should be a net swing of about 1300 because I think this takes uh, how much do these take? 500? Yeah. So that should help us out quite a bit once those are fully working. And this hopefully will go up a little bit. It's just, it's hard man. You get into a uh, you get into a deficit that you can't really climb out of without a bunch of help and then all of a sudden stuff is just worse. It's like real life, but uh, that's uh, that's what happens. Figure out a solution. That's what you got to do. And now we're down to tw now we're down to twenty five, because I I can't really have the grease factories running because those generate uh, almost nothing comparatively. You got to have a ton of these things, and that's more power we can't afford to lose. Yeah, see now we're still we're not even halfway there even with these engines turned on. So what else? I feel like I'm going to have to pause bot assemblers, but I can't. I have I have to have bots. Absolutely have to have them. And if this isn't working, I'm going to I'm going to have to send these uh send these guys out of here because there's just so much so much that we have to be able to get done. I just I just don't know how we can do it. Yes, this this isn't this isn't working. <laughs> All right, so Badwater Creek, um, get minimum of forty bots. That's probably a probably our problem here. If I make this minimum zero, they're all gonna go back to Beaverburg, and we'll send them back. Don't worry, but um, there's there's really no reason if they can't charge. I I know they could charge down here, but um, we do have some scrap metal. We're not gonna run out. At least not during this drought. But we really, really need to make sure we have the bots over here. And now we have 40, which is great, which means we have a lot more builders and we can get a lot more stuff done. In fact, if we have those guys, I'm going to have them work in the assemblers. That was still paused. Okay, well, we're going to unpause it. Yes, I know we're still not making enough power to really run any of that, but... Oh, there's so little water coming out. But hey, at least we have a little bit. Very, very, very hard to survive without uh, without all this. So we only need 77 additional metal blocks. It's just unfortunate that they're going to take their sweet time to get everything here. Just a very, very, very slow process. So considering we have actually some pretty good food stores, I'm going to go ahead and pause all of this stuff down here again. As well as our fermenters that are currently unpaused. Because again, we have plenty of food. We have almost 6,000. And we can use the power for plenty of other stuff. And just like that, we're still less than half, it's way less than half terms of production, but the show must go on. Uh, Gears-wise, I think we can safely pause three of those. Still well under 50%, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, the amount of gears we have right now uh, shouldn't matter for building a bad water dome, so I'm going to pause those three. We have 1,100 planks, so I'm gonna pause all the planks. And wouldn't you know it, we're still under 50% after all that. Is there anything else I can pause that's not making bot parts? Or bots? I really don't think so. I, I don't think we can get away with it. Everything else is just... Uh, it's just there. Well, I can pause that. I don't know if that's going to help at all. 
Are we finally at 50% or are we still at 49? 48. Yikes. Well, this is all disconnected up here, so that's to be expected. That's fine. How are we doing here? Okay, 65. Progress. Progress is being made. We don't have enough chargers down here. I think it's one of the problems. They're just constantly in use. But I don't have enough metal to make any more chargers. And now we only have 35 bots. They're just... They're dropping like flies, and I, I, do, I don't understand how that's even possible. Because I know, I know the grease helps them work better, but it shouldn't make them work worse if they don't have it. Because that, that should be, should be an additional, well, of course, it's not going to show up here. Uh, let's just click on a random bot. Yeah, minus three, because he's out of juice. Uh, 231 has a boost from the control tower. None of these guys have a boost from Greece because, well, there's no Greece. But, I don't know, we just, we don't have the resources to make everything all at once. And it is absolutely the fault of not having enough bad water coming out of this. Well, I guess that just goes to show that was probably a good game design choice that they made to alter the, uh, the way that works. Definitely, definitely is challenging. Yeah, look at the current, 0.7. That's not going to cut the mustard. 1.3. Now, this was this was at like 12 before. But hey, we got a lot of bio beaver haulers helping out, so hopefully they can keep everything stocked up. It seems like for the most part, this is working okay. Oh, these aren't prioritized by haulers. That might also be part of the reason why. Why would that not, why would I not have done that? That just doesn't, uh, does not compute. Seems like a very strange, very strange thing to have to deal with. Well, hey, remember the beginning of the episode when I said we were going to get a bunch of stuff done? Guess what? It's more damage control. Uh, that's what happens. Not too much more we can do about it. At the very least, though, we are slowly working toward progress, and there's only 1.2 days left before that full force of the water comes back. Just wish it wasn't... And there's another another bot breaking down before it could really do much of anything. When it rains, it pours. Except during a drought. Somehow worse. 50 metal blocks left. I'm actually kind of surprised it's gone as fast as it has during the droughts. They've done a pretty good job with what they have. Just kind of difficult to make it work. And of course, only having 12 HP coming out of here is really, uh, really not making these very serviceable. But again, what can you do? There's not really that much. Um, I guess we could... Yeah, we could just put a bunch of these water wheels in. Oh. Oh. And right as I say that, there's suddenly almost no flow going through here. I thought it had dried up, but uh, not quite. We weren't quite that bad. Yeah, so since this is only water, or water, only logs, they'll be able to build these pretty quick, which should, should, being the operative term, get these guys back up to at least 30, 40, 50%. But again, there's less than a day left, I guess it's, Probably not really that big of a deal. But we do have two. Which means now the network power supply is 32 instead of 12. It is kind of funny that these are making separate uh, separate ratings. I mean, I know they, they spin independently. That's how it works. It's just... I thought that was humorous. All right. Now back over here in Crisis Land, we have only 34 bots. And uh, one of those 34 is in here tending to the empty district. But we, we kind of do need this to be here. Just chilling in the district crossing. Doing nothing. But since these have been re -bottomated, only running at 42% power just is absolutely crippling. But it'll come back soon enough. Not to worry. And then we can turn some of this other stuff back on. But man, am I glad we had a backstock of food stuff. If we didn't, that would have been a terrible, 
terrible thing, killing off a whole bunch of beavers. Definitely, definitely not ideal. But life goes on. And we haven't run out of wood. In fact, we uh, we have more wood than we ever have, at least in recent memory. These are all turning, which means, oh, they're up to 85%. Nice. So they can get charged. And we only need 37, 37 more blocks. So now we should see if we take this up. Yep, that's making bad water again. That's making bad water again. And up here, it's also making bad water again. But I'm not going to send the beavers back yet, be or the beavers, the bots back yet, because we have 2,400 extract and we have 258 explosives, 277 scrap metal. I'm going to keep them over here for the time being. And we're going to try and get this as best situated as we possibly can. But like I said earlier, not too much more we can do except wait. Just the way she goes. And we should see the power output slowly start to tick back up as all of this stuff comes back into place. It is going to take a little bit of time, but I feel like we're going to be in good shape. So this should be at least a couple metal blocks, or one, I suppose. That's fine. There is the one right here. Well, now there's two here. Baby steps. Little baby steps. So now we're, we're uh, making 120. We're supplying 100. This will continue to go up. And as we have more metal blocks, I'll put a couple more here. Yeah, it's amazing just how much it destroys your ability to progress when you have tiny little problems that become regular size problems that then become big problems that then become absolute game breaking obstacles and again just the way she goes how close are we now 173 so we'll, we'll, be, uh, we'll be pretty good here in a little bit I haven't even bothered trying to put one here but we really, really got to get something. We still only have 34 bots. I cannot believe how slowly the bots are going now. It, it just it just doesn't make sense. We have the materials. And though, except for the metal blocks themselves. Which, thankfully, the limbs do not require. Now we're out of heads. D did I pause all the heads? I really hope I didn't. No, no, we still have this one. It's just the metal blocks. Again, metal blocks, always a problem. Don't really know why. Now the power's starting to come back just a little bit. These guys gotta be able to get work done. And this, I mean, he's in here. He's, uh, he's working. Theoretically. Oh no, he's charging. That's why. I was mistakenly assuming he was doing his job, but let's go in there and make sure he's doing that. There we go. So now we're making power up here again. It's still down limbs. I don't understand. I really don't. I don't get it. It's the inefficiency of the haulers and the bots having to go run and grab their own stuff. Well, at least this guy's here doing his job, but he's going to, he's going to go out soon too, because he's only at 6% durability. What a mess. What an absolute mess. So much needs to get done that we just cannot do. But now the bot number is starting to go up slowly. At least temporarily because I guess these guys are pumping them out. This one's almost done. Okay, so they're actually relatively evenly spaced out. This one's just about finished. This one's a little more than half done. Again, begging for a mod that can turn off individual building sounds. 20% and 14%. So, you know, you take it. You take those things. I think we're going to have to... Uh, uh, we're going we're gonna to have to at some point bring these guys back over here. But at the same time, we really, really have to have... And I mean really have to have metal get, get made. I just, I don't know why it's so slow. I know it takes four hours for a single thing, but I mean, we have five of these things, so it really, in I know this isn't exactly how it works, but in theory, every hour we should be having, what, 
two five metal blocks being made. Which admittedly isn't a lot, but it feels like it should be a little bit better than this. And I wanted to avoid having a ton of these things because well, they take a lot of power. Well, which wasn't a concern until just now. But they take a lot of power and they, they use logs and it's annoying to get st get stuff staffed correctly. Because these guys, uh, haulers at least, or anybody working here has to go down these stairs. We also have this set back here, but there's, of course, there's no stairway to get down in there. I feel like we can still leave the uh, the food paused a little bit, uh, but now not because of power, because of staffing concerns. We're making tons of power, so I will go ahead and turn the number cruncher back on because we will need the uh, we'll need the science at some point. We just got to get stuff going, man. Oh, this is actually done. We just have to have one more bot come in here and finish it off. That's good to see. That means we can go ahead and put the bad water discharge here. And that's done. Cool. So big, big advance right there, having two ready for the next drought. That's a big win. I am going to make, I'm going to do all these three before I do anything up here, definitely, because we still somehow, despite having no bots over here, still have 277 scrap metal. I imagine, oh, it's all sitting here. That's why we haven't been making metal, because the bots can't get rid of it. Well, then um, I guess that's my fault. So I'm going to bring four bots back over to Badwater Creek. And we're going to have them not all working in the district crossing, not all working in the district center. But we're going to have... I guess one working in the hauling post to bring that over here so it can be exported. Come to think of it, let's check our distribution here. What is this metal set to? It's set to 0%. In which I guess we don't really need any over here anyway, so that's fine. But we've got to make sure we have that set. We don't even, okay, always import. Problem solved. So now they should be exporting a little bit here. That's pretty dumb that I did not notice that until just now, but in fairness, it is kind of a complicated system. And I've not really been that good at in the past. All right, making great progress here. Of course, the metal blocks are going to take forever, but that's, uh, that's what happens. So bot numbers continue to climb very slowly back from our uh, all-time low of recent all-time low of 34. And we are starting to run out of time today. It's really unfortunate because I I, mean, I have all these things I want to do and I just can't get them done without, uh, without doing a bunch of time lapses or time skips. And I know you guys don't like that. Fortunately, the bio beavers seem to be having a good time doing everything that they're supposed to be doing. But now we don't have any gears. Because I paused these. But now that we have power back... I can unpause all of this, and in fact, I can uh, I can have the grease factories going again too, since we have the power. Um, yeah, the planks are fine, but these guys with the canola oil and the extract definitely, definitely could stand to have the grease. In fact, let's set those both up as supply, or I guess we don't have to have both of them set up for supply, just one of them. But the bots need to be able to get in here to get some grease. Once it's actually made, of course. Turn the engines off. Don't need those anymore, right now at least. Now this district has 238 scrap metal. So it is, it is working very, very, very slowly. But we are recovering and... Stuff is looking pretty good. Still have 3,700 food. Uh, I am tempted to uh, turn these. Oh, they're not bottomated anyway. So we'll do that. Nope, not that. We'll turn these back on. That was that was just a power saving thing. 
But no. Oh, see, this isn't even making enough power anyway to run all of this. Because, why is why is this running a... Okay, no, no, no. No, 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 that, that can stop. But the, uh, the smelter, smelter for sure can keep going. All right, so that's fine. Remember, these aren't really connected at all anymore. Just got to make sure we're in uh, decent shape here. All right, fermented mushrooms, mushrooms. Yeah, that's a little closer, and we'll do the cassava right here because that's closest there. That needs to be a regular bio beaver doing that so the bots can do something else. All right, so food's fixed. Now I don't have to worry about asking you guys to uh, remind me to turn the food back on. Oh, I didn't unpause this one. All right. Now it's unpaused. Like I said, planks, we are doing more than fine for the planks. We actually have some grease, which hopefully will help our bots last a little bit longer. And then we can start putting them back where they belong. But man, what a, uh, what a journey, huh? Just an endless cycle of uh, nonsense. Fortunately, we have uh, most of what we need for this one, minus the metal blocks. And it, it's going to be a long process. It always is. But the fact that this already has the two done makes me feel a lot more confident about the next drought. But it could be a bad tide, which, uh, well, would be good for us in terms of generating power. But maybe not ideal for the uh, purposes of our crop survival. We haven't been able to find out yet, though, because uh, <laughs> since they changed all the irrigation stuff back, we just haven't had any bad tides. And we're not going to get one today either because, well, we're almost up to our self-imposed time limit. So that'll have to be the next episode, which will be on, I believe, Thursday. That's when that should come out. So all things considered, you know, decent progress just very hard to come back from uh having the kind of problems that we had without just spending a whole lot of time waiting and that's uh that's how momentum works you get a little bit going in your favor then hey you're riding high you think everything's going perfectly fine and then when it swings the other way well you have to work really hard to get out of it and at some point there's not really much more you can do except wait Trust the process and make sure that stuff just goes as smoothly as it can. Which seems like we're on the upswing. But it's one of those things that just takes time. You're not going to get everything finished overnight. You shouldn't really expect to either. You just kind of have to go with the flow. Now all of that being said, uh, we do need to start getting some more scrap metal mined over here because uh, we're going to be running out of this pretty quickly. Especially if we want to have the uh, extra 152 we need for this bad water discharge. It is just not happening. In fact, now uh, we can't even keep up with bot heads either. So that's that's the chassis thing right there. The head thing is not even paused. We just don't have enough materials. We need the gears. And we have six of these things going, and they're still chewing through them because, of course, they're sending some of them over to the uh, bad water discharges. I guess I could unpla unpause. Wow, I could I could unpause this gear workshop. That'd be fine. It's going to slightly decrease the efficiency of everything else, but you know we do need the gears. It's it's pretty hard to get around that. And since this is actually, uh, oh, I I really I really should get rid of this thing. I was going to say we could connect these together, but uh, having the charging stations here is pretty important and I don't want to get rid of that. Otherwise, we could link these guys together, but I uh, don't think it's going to work that way, unfortunately. Yeah, I think this is probably about as good of a stopping point as any for today. Sorry we could not get more done, but I think I, I must have said it dozens of times in this episode. It's the way it goes, man. You can't always predict what's going to happen, but you can do your best to react to it in a way that's going to put you in a better situation. And I think that's what we're able to accomplish today. So next time we come back with uh, this playthrough, we're going to, of course, be focusing on getting bots continued to uh, up. That wasn't even correct English. We're, we're going to focus on getting bots back up. And uh, there's not really much more we can do, sort of just 
raiding all of our existing buildings for the raw materials to make more bots, which wouldn't really solve anything except create more grief in the process. But we'll get that done. We'll be able to improve things for our bio beavers at some point and get those working hours down eventually to zero, give them all the recreation they desire and have the bots run everything. But it's going to take some time. And uh, unless you want me to do just montage style gameplay, it's going to be several episodes before that's done. But I'm glad that you joined me today. I really, really appreciate when you guys watch these uh, videos and interact, give me your opinions and uh, thoughts, theories, helpful advice, etc. So I, I do read all the comments. If you have anything that's on your mind, please do feel free to reach out. I look forward to interacting with you there. But even if that's not your style, I'm just glad you're here and glad that we get to spend a little bit of time together today. So I just wanted to thank you for that, as well as thank our Beard Boosters for their incredible support, making it possible for me to keep doing this every day and uh, being great supporters in other ways as well. So we'll look forward to seeing you in the next episode of this series on Thursday. Tomorrow we have what could possibly be the final episode of our update for Folktale series, depending on what I'm able to accomplish. We'll see. But that one uh, tomorrow and then Wednesday back in with the water beavers and we're actually making some good progress in that one if you've uh, abandoned that series would encourage you to go check it back out again uh, lots of lots of weird idiosyncrasies to that mod but it's a lot of fun lots of interesting new stuff and we are on the precipice of getting into some new exciting science stuff so hope you join us for that and other things that are coming up but if not that's okay too i'm just glad you're here today glad we got to spend this little bit of time if that's the only ever, only time we ever get to uh, interact with each other so have a fun and safe time whatever you're doing and hopefully see you later bye bye